Hi everybody, this is Shell with RK Prepping 101. Today we are working on breakfast packs and drink packs. I like doing it this way. It's a great way to ration your food out, especially when you have kids and stuff, because everybody just grabs one pack a day and that's their breakfast. You can also do this for lunch. That's how we're doing it because breakfast and lunch will be doing the packs and then supper time is when we will make our big meals. <clears throat> that may change down the road but we have snack packs and everything to fill in and to give the protein and calories they need. So <clears throat> we start out with our breakfast packs and we have a variety. They are dated. These are not sealed yet. Um, it also says for breakfast. Like this one has um, oatmeal, a tea bag, and some drink mix for your water. You can put hot cocoa in it, the hot apple cider packs, um, coffee. We also use grits, pastry bars, um, granola bars, stuff like that. So anyway, you can do that with your breakfast packs. I start buying stuff like my cocoa and stuff if it's on sale especially the apple cider and the drink packs. These drink packs you can get at the dollar store or anything usually for a box is a buck so you get ten of them for a dollar. I try to get the tang mainly for um, in the early rise. This is actually a good one and it's great value so I think that's Walmart. You can do the Arizona teas for people that like tea. But they just grab a pack in the morning and you have your breakfast. I may put some more stuff in here. We haven't decided yet. That's why they're not sealed. But we'll also show you some of our lunch ones when we get that done. Then this bucket will be cleaned out because this is where I put all my loose stuff. So I got the hot apple cider and the little drink packs. So we'll take all of this. It'll be packaged up and then the packs will be put in this bucket and we have this says drinks one bag per person per day so <clears throat> we keep all these little K cups and everything because either way they can be made somehow so anyway <clears throat> this is just kind of a showing of how we're doing this the kind of stuff that we put into it uh, it's crazy right now. We're canning. We have cantaloupe on the dehydrators. We just done several bags of um, dehydrated bread cubes that are seasoned. Those are all packaged up and put away. Um, I did find this thing of grits at the store, which is pretty cool because it has the original and butter. So I will put those in breakfast packs. And then like the cheddar cheese and the bacon, I'll put in lunch packs. And you can put Vienna sausage, you can put Spam, um, a can of tuna, whatever in those. So, yeah, we kind of have a mess in here right now because we are doing so much at once. We're actually doing sweet relish today, dill pickles and green beans, so, and possibly pickled okra if we get to that. So I'm trying to get all of this done before we move on to canning today. So, anyway... Snack packs, breakfast packs, lunch packs, just a great way to ration. You can change whatever drinks and stuff you put in here. Um, a lot's going to depend on if it's winter or summertime. You may not want hot cocoa in summertime, but, you know, the kids still like it. And I know I have to have my coffee, so we have stocked up on all kinds of different coffees in these little bags. They were on sale. So, the, each one of these makes 12 cups, and we do have quite a few of them in different flavors. So, definitely, you know, get some of the stuff that you like, whether it's coffee or hot chocolate or hot apple cider, because if it gets cool at night, you might like to drink it later. But whatever they get in this pack, you know, if they don't use it, they keep that for the, you know, to use through the day, or to even put away if they don't want it that day but they only get one pack. So anyway, here's an idea for you. 
it works out great for us. So keep on prepping and I'll show you some lunch packs a little bit later. Have a great day.